Hello, Sweet Life family. How are you doing? I am just enjoying this beautiful day today. The weather is so nice and gorgeous, and I am excited to share with you something that just came in the mail yesterday. I didn't get a chance to share this with you, but I'm excited to do that. Before we get into that, I want to say hello. My name is Farika, and I am just so happy that you're here. I want you to go ahead and hit that subscription button because this channel we love having new family members all the time here and we don't want to see you leave so go ahead and hit that subscription button if you like fun family adventures you like videos on a lot of information um, you enjoy Disney uh, that is what this channel is designed for so if you like those things you like Disney you like family fun you like product reviews what else um, and just real life situations that's what the sweet life channel is all about it consists of myself my husband Eric and my daughter Elise and that is a little gist of who we are okay so hit the little bell notification so that you do not miss out on any content it is free to do and we are really trying to grow our channel so shout out to someone who just subscribed yesterday thank you so very much because we noticed that we have a lot of traffic to our page but sometimes people do not always hit the subscribe button so we are asking you to please hit the subscribe button because when you do not only do we gain a new family member but it also shows YouTube that people are interested in our channel and therefore they will recommend our videos today I am going to be sharing a video on um, just my uh, subscription box that I got I have recently started keto about a month ago and I am happy to say that I am doing well on it um, one of the things that um, I really needed help with though was like just making sure that my snacks are keto approved uh, you know the normal meals are okay for me because it's basically protein vegetables uh, berries and fat of course that's what the keto diet consists of and then you're staying within your macros and all the, I'm not gonna go into the macros but um, when it is time to snack I am proud to say that I have not been snacking on things that are not keto approved um, yeah so i'm excited about that i found out about a couple of cool products that is helping me out and so i definitely wanted to share those products and tell you what i think about it okay so uh before i get into my keto crate box that i ordered um i want to just let you know some things that have been helping me oh i forgot one product mm, 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 mm. Let me go get it. If you notice, it got a little brighter. It did because I did not start this video with my light on, but I'm putting it on now. So, let there be light. Okay. All right. So, the first product that I want to start off with um, would be coffee. Okay. Definitely, I drink Bulletproof coffee. I just recently ran out of it and I need to get some more. I have a Keurig, a single cup Keurig. So, I just buy the already ground coffee and then I have the little um refillable K cup put the coffee in there and then let it rip um when I'm making my coffee I just recently found this brand I don't know if you can see okay this brand of coffee creamer it is called primal and it is super yummy and delicious this one is salted caramel and it has it's non-gmo and gluten-free it also does not have any sugar in it um the total carbs in a serving is five grams of carbohydrates it is made with monk fruit and stevia and they have several different flavors the next flavor that i want to try is king's cake 
um, if you're familiar with what King's Cake is, but they have uh, red velvet, vanilla, salted caramel, mocha. I really like the cocoa mocha um, because it makes your coffee kind of taste like a um, hot chocolate. It's really good. So this is the creamer that I'm digging right now. Okay, when I'm out of Bulletproof Coffee, I have been trying this Keto Coffee by Giant. My mother-in-law gave this to me because she was doing Keto, but she is no longer doing it. So she gave me this, and this is a pretty good solid coffee. Um, it does not have any sugars in there. It also looks like there are no carbohydrates in here. Um, it is Keto, Paleo friendly, sugar-free, gluten-free non-gmo eco-friendly and it is caffeinated okay and you just basically put uh one scoop in your cup and put hot water in there and you can add your primal creamer or whatever you like into it and it is yummy and delicious and fairly easy okay very very easy the next product that i want to talk about is this product these are i'm going into shakes that i love okay this by far is my favorite shake it is called keto chow another great company it only has 1.5 grams of net carbs per serving you basically add the powder a fat source like heavy cream you add water and then you mix and this stuff not only smells super fabulous but the taste is spot on um this is the last pack that i have i have to reorder this is the chocolate shake i got a uh, salted caramel which i didn't try because i gave it to my friend because my friend julie she wanted to try it but she said it was really delicious i had um um, um, root beer, uh, chocolate toffee, which was really good. Root beer was really good. Chocolate toffee was really good. And then I had this one. I only ordered four. And Elise asked me to order a vanilla one. I, um, have never tasted the vanilla one because I don't really like vanilla stuff. But I read that the vanilla is really good. And then they have tons of other flavors. So definitely check out Keto Chow. It's very easy. Very, very delicious. And it really does keep you full. That's what I want to say about Keto Chow. Keto Chow is the first product that has claimed to keep you full longer. And it actually did what it said it was going to do. So I like that. Um, here's another shake. This is a canister that my mother-in-law gave me. It's called Ketology Keto Shake. Um, it's a pretty good shake. I use this one mostly when I just want something sweet or if I'm like getting ready to eat dinner and um, you know, it's not time yet. Um, this is really good. It has 75% of fats, 100% of awesomeness. That's what it says on the back and it is pretty good. It has uh, seven net carbs uh, per container. I mean per per serving two per container per servings you add two scoop or you can add one if you want to take it down a notch okay all right let's see what I want to um as far as fat sources I definitely use heavy cream um heavy whipping whipping cream I um use this um coconut oil which is Nutivia coconut oil this is another great fat source avocados i've been eating a lot of avocados oh and that just reminded me i didn't even grab one of the products that i normally grab elise can you grab me one of those seasonings the flavor god ones in the white thing with the color tops which one do you want me to get green yellow or red? it doesn't really matter anyway um another fat source is mct oil i'm using this one less and less i don't know a lot of the products that I'm ordering already has it in there, but um, that's the MCT oil. Uh, with the avocados, I am loving to sprinkle uh, the Flavor God on there. Uh, I also love it on my foods. It's really good. We just recently ordered a whole bunch of them, different flavors like Cajun, garlic, um, jerk chicken. I haven't tried that one, but I can't wait to try that one. The jerk seasoning um yeah very yummy okay and then you know i'm drinking my diet drinks that that helps because sometimes you need a little extra caffeination don't judge me whatever um ice drinks and diet pepsi or coke and cherry flavor and then also um let me see ice That's drinks dye ginger does it just say the flavor got huh? okay here let me see 
this is yeah, the that's flavor it. God. Okay, this is, thank you, this is the yeah. Flavor God seasoning. These are amazing. This one is the Cajun Lover one. I know it would be so good on seafood if I could eat, eat seafood. Anyway, but it's good for something. Okay, sweeteners. I don't, a lot of uh, products, keto, have a lot of stevia in them. I like this. Monk Fruit Sweetener. I've been using this for a while. It's zero net carbs, zero glycemic, zero calorie, 1.1 sugar replacement, and it's keto approved. Um, so use, now you're starting to find this more and more in the grocery stores. This sugar is amazing. I do add sometimes if my, uh, if I'm making a smoothie, like a green smoothie with berries and my smoothie is not sweet enough, I am adding a little bit of this with tea, coffee. It's amazing. Okay. Yes. So, flavor out, we cover that. Oh, breakfast. Okay. Definitely eating scrambled eggs, avocados, tomatoes, greens. I'm finding I'm eating that more in my breakfast. Bacon or turkey bacon, chicken apple sausage. Uh, if I want a pancake or a waffle, this. This is everything. I love this stuff. I just bought one of those um, Dash mini waffles, waffle arms, the non-stick ones, and this mixed up and there is amazing okay i always just leave it on a little bit longer just to make sure that it doesn't flake because if you don't let it cook long enough when you try to pull it out of whatever you're cooking in the pan or in your waffle iron it kind of flakes up but if you just let it set just right and long enough it has a pretty great consistency okay so this is and i'm using i'm not going to keep going to get stuff but i'm using chalk zero choc zero um syrup is keto approved Okay, I'm not gonna go get that. Okay, so now it's time for the keto crate box. I'm excited about this just because you don't find a lot of stuff in the grocery store. You have to order a lot of stuff, but um, with this, it has a lot of things that is gonna be recommended every month. So this is the May box and I'm just excited. I'm not gonna lie, I did open it last night just because I didn't get around to making a video. Everyone around here was eating some kind of dessert and I did not have a dessert so I had to go into the keto. Hold on. Hello? So I'm not gonna lie, I already opened this keto crate because last night everyone was eating a dessert and I did not have anything and I really wanted something and so as much as I wanted to wait to unbox this with you, I just couldn't wait. It was between me making sure I stay on track versus me going off track and I didn't want to do that okay so the keto crate I found this out on I think in a group that I'm in or maybe on Facebook it was definitely Facebook but whether it was just in the feeds or in this group I found out about it it was pretty reasonable to me um and I am a part of a subscription for this box every month some yummy goodies will come to me until I no longer want it um it's about 20 something dollars for this crate this is the may crate and on the outside it says keto crate keto approved aspartame free mild mild maltitol free soy and sucralose conscious so they're trying to make sure that ooh, my allergies are bad the stuff in this box is like the utmost best ingredients okay so let us open it mm -hmm. okay it comes in here, it says May Keto Crate. Have a little brochure. Get swimsuit ready, but not the way you think. Gain inspiration, motivation from Lindsay's incredible keto success story. Uh, keto hacks for the Memorial Day barbecue and don't miss our chocolate graham cracker recipe. So you can ketofy your summer s'mores, which I really love s'mores, so I'm excited about this. It just has a lot of fun articles and um, it says, are you ready to restock your favorite Keto Crate products or get your hands on the snacks you miss out on before signing up? Head over to members only Keto Crate. So they give you this code I can't show you. It's only for members. Um, and then you can go into the shop with this code. Every month it changes and you can buy extra things that you really loved out of the store. That's really cool. Um, let's see, Keto Crate talks about a story oh my goodness my allergies are so bad um manager subscription 
and then it has a little comic strip in here so i would definitely be checking out this low carb carb q your barbecue low low carb q your barbecue what can i say hi oh sure hi sweetie my family all righty can i play some of my i'm getting some credit no go get a book okay um you may Okay, so it says the warm weather is coming. Barbecue and hot dogs, lettuce wrap burger is a classic keto to go. I love lettuce wrap burgers. Um, let me see what else. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there anything. They have different potato salad recipe. It's just tons of stuff. I will look into that. On the outside, it says your mission in this box are products created by people who believe in you they believe that you are in control of your health they believe that given the choice you will choose long-term well-being over a quick fix i like that and then they just talk about some other things okay so the first thing i'm going to show you is something that i opened last night i opened two products actually last night um this was really good this is high key um Fomonomo brownie bites and this is uh, made with almond flour and coconut oil It's two net carbs and these are very yummy I really enjoyed these okay because I love brownies and chocolate treats so yes 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 I didn't eat a lot of them they were very fulfilling I had like two of them last night I'll show you um what it looks like let me see Ooh, okay so it's like a little small brownie bite and it is super yummy okay mm -mm -mm. okay it's like a cookie cookie brownie a brookie <laughs> okay very good i love that okay i can't be eating all these snacks while i'm talking to you because it's rude i don't know mm -mm -mm -mm. i love that as you're eating that and i am going to be snacking on stuff I love that as you eat that, it gets creamier and creamier. Okay? So, the other thing that I tried last night was good to go. A cinnamon pecan soft bake. And this feels like it's um, like a, how a chocolate bar has different sections. That's what this feels like. You just break a little piece off. Let me see how many... Um, this is like, uh, let me see, the serving size of this is one bar. So the whole entire bar, but I just had a little piece. Serving size for this is about six pieces, okay? This, once you break off a little piece and you eat it, it's so delicious. It also tastes like a little cookie. See, this is a little section of summer. Mmm, mm, it tastes like a pastry. Like, this would be something good. It kind of, you know what it reminds me of? A scone. Mm-hmm. Something that you would eat with a little bit of tea. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I love scone. So that would be definitely, these two would definitely be something that I would order again. Okay. Mm. I haven't or opened this, the fat snacks, but I have had them before in the grocery store. I bought, I bought them before. Mm, mm, mm. This is another brownie. Well, I think I had chocolate chip cookie before. I don't know. I know I had lemon cookie. But this one brownie is, um, has, oh, 0.3 net carbs. Okay. I'm going to open that. This is a munchy crunchy protein snack ranch rock and ranch and this is toasted whole beans um nut free gluten free four net carbs 16 grams of protein these are soybeans i haven't tried this brand but i remember one time when i was doing um jenny craig a long time ago they had something like this and they were pretty good at first i thought they were weird but i got used to them okay so here goes something else. This is a crunchy cheddar mix. This looks really good. Keto Farms crunchy cheddar mix. Let me see. It's light. So 
Sometimes the light is super bright. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so it's not like bling. Okay, and this looks really good. It's nacho cheddar, crunchy cheese mix, two uh, net carbs, two, and it has, um, it looks like it has pecans and almonds and some kind of crunchy cheese puff. So that looks really good. I'm really excited about this keto box because I really, really want to do good on it. And so this definitely helps. And look how much stuff. I'm not even all the way through the box yet. Look, I still have tons of things to go and I'm not even done. So while this fell out the box, let's look at this. I love beef jerky sticks. This is a meat stick by Mission Meats, Original Nature. Um, and I'm trying to see... It doesn't say how many net carbs it has, but it looks pretty good. It's made with 100% grass-fed beef. I don't know. I guess everything doesn't have net carbs. This is meat, so it probably doesn't. I'm still new to keto, so I don't know. Don't judge me, but this looks amazing. It looks delicious. Something you can just throw in your purse and you can have it when you are in need of something which lately since we've been sheltering in place we haven't been going out just out to the um side of the house or maybe sometimes for a walk definitely sometimes to the grocery store but we definitely try to eat before we go out because we're not trying to buy a whole bunch of things while we're out so you know um okay so let's see here goes another one good love fatty chewy nutty coconut coconut macadamia nut bar and that looks really good. Um, one gram of sugar, five grams of protein, 14 grams of fat. Uh, it looks good. It's vegan, no sugar alcohols, no soy added, keto friendly, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Definitely another something. I like all these things you can just toss in, in your um, bag. Okay. Here goes something I'm very interested to try. This seems like something I would definitely put in that coffee when I make it, that mocha choca, uh, mocha, no, cocoa mocha uh, creamer. Put that in the coffee, set a marshmallow on top. This is called a Max Malo, Max Taste Zero Guilt Classic Vanilla Marshmallows. I'm curious to see if Elise would like this. Filled with collagen and MCT oil. Um, it's sugar-free, 90 calories per bag. And I'm going to open this just because I want to see what this is like. Mmm, smells like marshmallows. This is interesting to me. Oh, it doesn't smell that great. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to take a whole good. one. I know, I like it too. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. You want another little piece? Can I have a whole piece? It's not a whole cube. Yeah, I liked it that much. Okay. You liked it that much? For a whole cube. Okay. Mm, okay. That was pretty good. Okay. You can go back and play. Mm. She loves marshmallows, so I was just curious to know what she thought. And she said she liked it. Okay. Still not done with the bat. Okay. Then they gave this, which I think is pretty cool. I like baking. So... Um, they give you this, uh, pure organic sugar-free bakeable chocolate cookie mix, which I'm super into. Who doesn't like chocolate chip cookies? And if they're warm and wonderful, like the ones at the hotels when you check in, mm. I also got a bread mix and I haven't cooked that yet. So this is super cool. Um, keto friendly. Let me see. It makes about three tablespoons mix makes about two cookies that's what it says so you add egg and you add a stick of butter unsalted room temperature mix it on 375 stir in a bowl uh, mix one egg and one stick of butter it doesn't tell you how much you should scoop out though per it, it's like do i make this whole bag do I just make it with one egg and two teaspoons? I'm going to have to definitely look this up on YouTube because it's a little confusing. And the last item that was in the bag is a spicy dill flavored small batch pork rinds. That's interesting. I would definitely love to find out what this tastes like. I've been eating a lot of pickles too because it's just so yummy and sunflower seeds. Not a lot of sunflower seeds, but we've definitely been snacking on them from time to time. 
um my favorite uh pork rinds are the uh 4505 uh, pork rinds, the barbecue ones. My hands are sticky from the marshmallows. Um, I definitely been loving those, and it's fun because we do have a four five zero four <laughs> four five zero five barbecue spot right in our vicinity. Okay. This smells like it's so weird. It smells like pickles. It smells just like a dill pickle, like no joke. Okay, let me see what I think. It's weird, <laughs> but it doesn't taste bad. It's just weird. It's like a straight pickle pork rind. Mm -mm. Never thought I would eat this. And it kind of tastes like salt and vinegar pork rinds, but it's definitely that high pickle taste. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. I don't know if I have a reference code yet, but let me put this on here because I don't want these to go bad. I've been using rubber bands for a lot of stuff. Okay. They're good. Okay. I'm definitely, I don't want them right now, but I can really see these tasting super great with some tuna. I don't know. I just like making tuna and then I like to sprinkle them on top. Like crunch them up and sprinkle them on top. But this is a pretty stand-up box. I'm super excited about the things that are in this box. Um, I love the Keto Crate. Um, so far, this is my first box, but I feel like I have enough stuff to really keep me moving forward in this journey. And so I am so grateful for finding this box. I look forward to reading this. I'm getting ready to go on my, um, on my treadmill and uh, get my workout in. One of the workouts that I'm really enjoying doing is, um, is uh there's an app there's an app sorry on youtube there's this channel where if you look up disney treadmill um options that they have all these fun treadmill workouts that you can do and it's like kind of like sightseeing around different disney um like castaway key uh disneyland walt disney world epcot whatever they have all kind of different workouts and it just makes you feel really good like you're sightseeing around Disney and you're getting your workout in at the same time. I have lost weight on my keto journey so far. I'm not going to say how much weight that I have lost right now just because it's still fresh and new and I don't want to throw myself off because sometimes when I start losing weight I get really excited and then I fall off. But I think that I have enough tools to get me through and these are super yummy. So if you're interested in the Keto Crate, um, let me see if they gave a code. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, oh man, I forgot. I took my Gmail app off. Sometimes when I'm uploading my videos, I have to remove stuff off of my phone just to get it to work, um, to have enough space. I hate that you have to have space to be able to Upload I don't understand that like what does my space have to do with me putting something off of my phone, but that's how it goes um I'm about to tell you what the code is if they gave me one What else oh we did try the quest bars and we like those the quest quest Chocolate cookies. I like those the birthday cake bars the one we tried and we like that um also uh Oh rebel ice cream oh my goodness the cookies and cream one is amazing um what other things i really like um the cookie bar the birthday cake bar oh the chips they have the nacho chips that's been a lifesaver for me on on taco day uh because i'm used to snacking on chips and salsa and so i just put the nacho cheese quest chips with the meat and put my cheese my lettuce tomatoes and my um avocado that has been a super duper saver okay so again if you like this video and you want to come along with me on this journey uh go ahead and hit the subscription button hit the like notification i'm going to be doing more and eventually i will be sharing more about my weight loss on keto and different things that i'm doing um in keto but uh come along with me for this journey it's not as hard as you think it is uh things that got me through the keto flu just looking up um 
pickle juice like me sometimes i'm just down in pickle juice because you need that magnesium and that salt in there just to help you so i didn't go through a period of time with the keto flu um now that i am starting to do a little bit of uh in intermittent fasting where I don't eat till a certain time um, in the day that has helped me to stay fuller longer uh, hold on I'm looking at this keto crate so it's not that hard I am still drinking my ISO tea through total ice changes and I um, have my goalies I know that's not really keto approved but they do help um, and I've still been losing weight so I haven't taken that out of my regimen and then the total ice changes Nutriverse for the liquid vitamin um so yes let me see what was the keto brand? let me see does do they give me a sharing code see one but I'll look it up if I do I'll put it down in the link below um, the website for keto crate I'm about to tell you what that is keto crate.com if you're interested in keto chow which I highly recommend um, it's keto chow dot uh, X Y Z that's weird or you can just google keto chow um, so yes these things are a lifesaver i'm hungry now though it's time to eat so i'm going to go get something to eat but now i feel like i have something that helps me when my family is doing all their munching and they've been munching on all kinds. i'm not going to tell their business but they've been just munching and living life and enjoying themselves and so now i have something yes okay um that's going to help me get through all right I have had so much fun with you guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you are having much success on your keto journey. Go ahead and put some comments down. Give me some tips because I am new. Um, definitely drinking lots of water too. I know that's a huge one. Um, I'll take those tips. And I just hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Remember, I pray that you guys are staying safe and well. Go ahead and, again, hit the subscription, hit the bell, hit the like. And remember, the sweet life is right. Life, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.